Hey, it's Dave, and in today's video, I want to build upon what we made last time. We made an API function that adds two numbers. So today, I want to call this function from my front end and actually display the result of that function on the web page. Um, to be more specific, I want to add this to my projects page. As you can see here, I've got project one and project two. They're not looking too hot right now, but for project one, I want to make it this API call and display the answer. So let's see if we can do that. If you remember, we made projects.jade as our projects page. So if I just change this right here, I can say the answer to one, two, three, four, five plus six, seven, eight, nine, zero equals. And before we fill it in, let's take a look at how this looks right here. Fresh. There we go. The answer to that equals, and what we're going to put there is our call to the server and what it gives back to us. Um, now, the way we do this in Angular is we use squiggly braces. And um, I'm going to, you write the variable in the squiggly brace. So we're going to say variable name answer. And we're going to populate that answer variable with the result from the server call. And da, 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 let's see how this looks right now. Refresh, still nothing. Let's give it a default value for now. Now, where this is all defined is within your public folder, JS, and then controllers.js. And if you remember, it was very quick, but in our app.js, we actually define our projects page to use my CTRL2 as the controller. So any code for this page, we're gonna put in this myctrl2 controller right here should already be there in your controllers.js so what we do is say dollar sign scope dot answer and let's set to three for now save that and then refresh the page and there we go you see the three pop up so what we want to do in this controller code this is all on the front end the web the website's front end is running this in the browser we want to, from the browser, call the server function we made. So instead of a three, we want it to be the answer. Uh, let's start by setting it to zero. When the page first loads, it loads this controller. So we want to initialize the answer to zero. And then we want to make the server call without having to refresh the page. So the way we do this is actually shown right up here. Um, if you remember this hello Dave, this Dave is coming from the server. So there's a server call already written for getting that name. So what I want to do is I'm just going to copy that code right there. It should already be there. Paste it down here. OK, let's take a look. HTTP. This is a built-in Angular function that lets you call the server and get that answer. So you say method get URL API slash. Now, what did we call that? We called it add two numbers. Controllers. So it'll be API slash add two numbers. And the two numbers we're going to add are one, two, three, four, five, slash six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Save it. Um, if it's successful, we'll say scope.answer equals data dot result. Because if you remember in our API, we say result colon and then the answer. So what we got to do in our controllers is say data which is that object, and then we're gonna say dot result. So if we did bob colon seven, we would say data dot bob, and that would give back seven. So here we're saying data dot result, and that'll give back the answer. So scope dot answer is the variable we made up here. We're gonna replace that zero with whatever the actual answer is. And if it fails, if for some reason the server is down, I'm just gonna say error. Um, so let's see if we can get this to run. Let's go over here, restart the terminal, probably don't need to, and then refresh this. Ooh, did not work. Why did this not work? Let's take an inspect element. I do this a lot. Inspect the element, see if there's any errors. HTTP is not defined. That's right. I forgot to include that here. In Angular, there's something called dependency injection which means if you're using an Angular function like scope with the dollar sign or HTTP with the dollar sign, 
you have to give it a call out up here when you make your controller function. See, the controller is really a name and a function, and the parameters of that function are the services. And so we're using scope, which lets you use those variables that we can put on the page. And we're also using HTTP, which lets us make this server call. So let's add that. Hopefully that'll fix it. Close this, refresh, and there we go. We've got our answer. And we can even see the call on the server right here, get API, add two numbers, and then the two numbers we sent it. And it took one millisecond to compute the answer and send it back. So that's pretty much it. That's how we call our backend API from our front end Angular framework and show the result on the web page. Thanks for watching.